Okay, the next one we're looking at is uh, the lunge or the static split squat. For this one here, if you're just doing an up and down split squat, probably best to start from standing. Take a reasonable stride forward, shoulders will be back, tummy tight. It's not an upper body movement, so there should be exercise, so there should be no movement in the upper body. It's all from the legs and the hips. Keeping up into the distance, bend both knees so you get a 90 degree bend in both. This back one is just for balance. This is where all the weight is, on the heel, on the front foot. Drive back up. Take it down, drive back up. Keeping the tummy tight on the way down for balance, core work. Driving up off the heel and off the glue on the front leg. Uh, a lot of people take too small a distance. That heel should not overlap that knee. There should be a gap between the heel and the back knee. Um, other variations again, people tend to, as they lunge, drop into it there. Just like the squat, there's flexion at the waist, which there shouldn't be. So it's probably going to result in tightness in the hip flexors here. Yet again, we need to stretch out the hip flexors. Should be tall and upright. No movement in the upper body. Exactly the same applies. All the work on the front leg. Squeeze the tummy in tight as it lands and drive back up. The same as the squat. Normally, tight calves, tight inner thigh, tight hip flexors often cause problems with that movement and uh, weak glute muscles. So work on the bridge exercise, which will really strengthen things up. Uh, 